Hello YouTube, hello Age of Empires 2 fans, and welcome to an exciting Age of Empires 2 game. Uh, we have MBL, one of the best players in the world in this one, on a map called Budapest, and it's an 8 player sudden death game. Yes, it is not af often, sorry, that you have an Age of Empires 2 pro against noobs or against people from the community in such ridiculous settings, but MBL, he's been, he's been playing some community games recently. Uh, you know, in the past, he, he joined one of my community games when, that I do on Fridays on my Twitch stream, and he had a bit of trouble with a little guy named Blue Coffee. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting MBL in person many times, and the, the last time I spoke to him about Blue Coffee, and I think he said something about like him not liking that guy. Uh, <laughs> and if you haven't seen that video, I, I guess you'll have to check out the Legends playlist I have. But anyway, let's, let's, not, let's not talk too much about other things. Let's introduce the players and let's talk about the settings. Again, this map is called Budapest, and you start with two town centers. It is very, very complicated. You can already see a few of the players here discussing exactly how this works. Uh, MBL is playing as the Portuguese in the yellow, though. Uh, in the green, we have Von Libov. He is playing as the Japanese. In the red, we have Katz. Katz is playing as the Italians. In the orange, we have Turks for Val. In the teal, we have Salicum playing as the Magyars. In the purple, we have Epicuro playing as the Huns, which is a very good sieve for this. Uh, in the gray, we have Odette. Odette is playing as the Britons. And then in the blue, we have uh, Racer. Racer is playing as the Saracens. So, uh, sudden death normally means that if you lose your town center, you are defeated. So it's a bit like regicide games where you have a king, and if you lose your king, you're dead. Uh, in this sudden death game mode, if you lose your town center, you are dead. However, since there are two TCs on Budapest, you have to lose both your town centers, so it's not quite as cutthroat. But I really like these settings because you have MBL, who's obviously way better than everyone here. Uh, he's top five in the world easily. And then he's playing versus just regular people. So if it was a straight up fight, if there were no sudden death settings, if there was no like sneaky way that you could kill MBL, you would have no chance. But fortunately for these seven other players, they will have an opportunity, possibly. Um, to talk a little bit more about what Budapest is, uh, we've already discussed how you have two town centers, which normally means the game goes on uh, or speeds up pretty quickly as the economies are going to be stronger. There's a lot of gold and there's a lot of stone to be found. So as far as I know, yeah, this is not a diplomacy game, so there's there will be no alliances formed. And that shouldn't be an issue. I don't think players, if they're dominant at least, will run out of gold because there's quite simply gold everywhere on this map. And there's also water. So if you would like to, you could dock and you could fish. I mean, there's pigs everywhere. There's, there's forge bushes. This is a pretty good map <clears throat> when it comes to collecting resources. Uh, you start with two scouts, and uh, MBL has to be careful not to lose one of his scouts. One of the best players in the world, by the way. He just ran his scout into his opponent's town center. And I don't think that Green is going to be very happy about the fact that he's next door neighbors to MBL. <laughs> At least I wouldn't be, uh, because, well, as we've already said, MBL is very strong. So I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity uh, to take advantage of the fact that I have people listening uh, from all around the world. And everyone has different interests and things they're into and, and things they do for work. So there's a good chance that there, there's someone out there who might be able to give me some input on this. Um, so, and this is not totally related to Age of Empires 2, so I guess I apologize if this is not something that you wanted to hear. Uh, but I wanted to, I am planning on taking a trip with my brother at some point this year. Uh, just to get away, you know, life gets crazy. Uh, and I used to fish all the time, so I used to fly fish and uh, mainly I'd fish in different streams. And I haven't done it in a long time. I was looking to, to possibly go on some type of a, a fly fishing journey with my brother, uh, whether that's with a guide or, or maybe a bit of fishing by ourselves. And since I'm not really familiar with fly fishing and, and all of that anymore, um, I don't know where in the United States would be a good location. I don't know what time of year would be best. So uh, if you are out there listening on YouTube, and you happen to have any input or experiences or know someone who had a good experience, whatever, uh, if you could just put it in the comments, that'd be great. Um, you know, if you happen to be part of my Discord, you could shoot me a message as well with any input. I, I told my brother that I might as well 
take advantage of the fact that I have thousands of people listening. Uh, there's got to be some people out there who might be able to give me some advice. So thank you for that, guys. In advance. So it's interesting, as I look around the maps, you can definitely tell uh, with the Dark Ages the differences in skill levels. Like, some people are walling up, which normally indicate, like, if their walls are play smart, that normally indicates they're a bit more experienced. Like, Odette here, I've known her for a while, she's, she has some nice walls, so... Nice early walling, smart play. Also, you can look at the vill count and the fishing ship count. Now, the cool thing about this map is, while you're on your way to Feudal Age, you still have one town center producing villagers. So MBL is on the way to Feudal Age at around the same time as many other players here, but he has way more villagers, and he also has the fish. And that is now the second scout for Green to go down. I think he lost his first scout in the beginning, and so MBL has one scout remaining. Green just, he has zero. Um, so the thing about MBL, the thing about most pros in these community games, is they just simply don't realize how how conniving people can be and, and how creative people will be with their strategies. So like, when I look at green and when I look at blue here, I, I really want these guys to think of out-of-the-box strategies. You don't want to try and beat a pro in a straight-up fight. What you would want to do is try and you know, sneak around with some petards or rams or trebuchets or something. So, you know, as this game goes on, uh, no, I don't know what all the strategies are going to be for, for some of the players here, but uh, I, that's the mindset that they have to have. And I think that's a mindset that I'd like more people to adopt as we do the community games pretty frequently on my Twitch channel, and of course all the best stuff goes to YouTube. Uh, it's It's probably my most popular consistent content on the channel. And I think that a lot of people get maybe a bit flustered if they're behind or weaker and they just like kind of freeze up and they don't know what to do. But I think the play is to try and, and be very sneaky. And if more people are sneaky, then they could maybe get results from that. So uh, all eyes on MBL here as he is on his way to Castle Age. And he's Portuguese, so he has lots of villagers on stone. This tells me he wants to go for organ guns, or as I've been calling them recently, piano cannons. <laughs> um, so the story of how that name came to be was one day I was spectating a game, a random game, uh, between some two high-level players. And so I wasn't streaming, I wasn't making YouTube content. I think I was just a... I, I don't know why. I... I just got on and I wanted to watch some games, you know, that that's my life. So anyway, I was watching this game and there were these two people in the spectator chat typing to each other and you have the ability to do that. And one guy, they were foreign so they didn't speak the best English and the one guy kept calling the, the unit, the working gun unit, a piano cannon. And I was cracking up and I feel like that's a much better name. <laughs> so, if I say organ gun or piano cannon in this game, uh, that is that is why. Um, Green, you know, being aggressive here, two archer ranges. He is not on his way to Castle Age, which will be a concern. But he's trying to be aggressive versus MBL. Nice early tower. But MBL, he's walled up nicely. He, he only needed to build one tower. And something tells me that Green is going to be in trouble here, because... If MBL builds a castle and starts making those wonderful piano cannons, uh, they can be really hard to stop. Organ guns are no joke. And green will not be in the castle age, which is a concern. So MBL places his castle here, guys. The castle will go up. It will kill green's tower. And also, MBL is defending a bit on water. Uh, there's a lot to focus on on this map. So... MBL's done a great job here. I'm, I'm probably not doing the best job, but fortunately I'm not streaming this, so no one can call me blind. Just don't do that in the YouTube comments, please. Elsewhere, I mean, most of my focus is going to be on MBL throughout this game, because he is going to give us a lot of action, but we, we have to look at what's going on elsewhere. Uh, oh, wow, okay. So Val has, has, has made some light cav. Turks get the free light cab upgrade on their scouts. And then red is on the left of him stonewalling up. 
which is probably smart. As Orange is building a tower. Um, Teal definitely got hurt by the light cap, though. I mean, his look at his castle age time. It'll be at 20 minutes. The only person that will be later than him to castle age will be Green. So maybe Teal is one of our more lower rated players here. Uh, the others, Purple's not fighting as far as I can see. A big concern I'm noticing with some of the players is they're not creating more villagers. Uh, someone like MBL is always going to be creating vill- MBL? See? He created another vill. See? For the most part, always creating new villagers. That is the number one tip I can give you. If you don't know any build orders, doesn't matter. Just make sure you have the food income to continue to create more villagers so you can get more resources. And MBL even has the fishing ships on top of his 64 villagers. But Odette is doing a great job. Odette has 60 villagers. Building a castle here to secure her gold. Um, it, again, the walls have been very well placed. Uh, however, saying that, Blue is making some knights and these are just palisade walls. So I think that Racer is going to race his way in here. Oh, this could be tough for Odette. Can she quick? Oh, Racer! 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 Oh, Odette's gonna quick wall. Can she do it? Uh, what? Racer, what? <laughs> no, man. The knight was standing on top of the Palisade Foundation. That shouldn't have never happened. Maybe Odette asks nicely. Oh, no. Odette. Uh, oh, God. Okay, you know, this should have been the result earlier, so... This is fine. Now Odette was just being kind. Like, alright, listen, you deserved it earlier. I didn't expect you to be a nice guy. Uh, so yeah, this is a bit hectic now for Odette. And these knights have some decent upgrades. So just a few spearmen are not going to save her. So this hurts her. And uh, this also does slow down Racer. Possibly, you know. Because he's, he's investing a lot of resources into the attack. So what I like to say is they're canceling each other out. They're weakening themselves... Epicuro, I, we haven't seen a lot from him. This guy's on the way to the Imperial Age right now, so we'll keep an eye on him. And MBL, as I expected, he has battering rams and piano cannons. And he is pressuring one of Green's two TCs. Poor Green, man. Uh, he, he will be in the Castle Age soon, at least. Uh, but he needs to stop his TCs from going down, and I think perhaps he should go for some siege in the next stage. Oh no, but MBL's building another castle here, and he's even sending villagers forward to repair the rams. Something NAI would do. Yeah, so... This is not very good for Mr. Von Lib. Von Libov is having some problems. Uh, back over to Odette. Odette, her vill count has dropped way down to 51. Uh, she does have the pikeman upgrade now, so that that's going to help her, and I think she's plugged the gap finally. But damage done there, and that that puts Racer as one of the favorites, in my eyes. Because uh, his vill count's nice as well. His eco looks decent, 65. Now, unfortunately for him, he is next door to MBL, which probably puts him lower on the pecking order. But uh, Anyway, back to Green. I think Green's going to be the first one to die here, guys. He's, he's lost one of his two town centers. He's making a few Maganels, but his population is bad. And MBL's out for blood. He has a, a crazy economy, 82 villagers, plus the fishing ships, plus the fact that he's creating out of two castles now. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's, he's going to take all of Green's resources. So, again, he won't need trade. I think he can take all of this gold if he's able to finish green off. So you guys might be thinking, I'm 23 minutes in, you guys might be thinking, okay, how much of this game is T90 seen? Uh, I've only seen clips. So this is not scripted. Well, yeah, I've only, it's only partially scripted because I only know one or two things that happened. Just happens to be fantastic things that happened. So it's a bit like I saw an advertisement for a movie, you know, that they show the best parts anyway, right? Uh, poor Green, man. I, I think the end is near for him. MBL focuses down all the Maganels. The TC is going to go down. And if you've never seen a sudden death game before, you'll see exactly what happens. 
he is instantly defeated, and that is one out of seven players that MBL will try and kill in this game. Red could be next. Uh, Katz has... Well, we haven't seen a lot from him. I think Red and Orange are even... Yeah, I think, I think they might fight. I guess Red's castles have pushed Orange off of a lot of his gold and stone, and, and so Orange is not happy about that, and he'll treb that back. Uh, Teal, just want to go back over to him, because remember, he struggled earlier. He, uh... He's not doing a whole lot here. He's not doing a whole lot, taking his good old time. Purple, I see a few knights, and they will be cavalier for purple. And he's looking to break into Teal's base to get some raiding down there. And then I would predict that Odette and Racer are going to have the fight of the century because Odette will not be happy about her failed quick wall earlier. Uh, she is on the way to the Imperial Age, and so is Racer. They are very, very close. Uh, Racer has the lead with the economy, but... Odette does have Britons and can snipe from range, maybe go for the Warwolf trebuchets that Britons have. So the point is, is compared to MBL, everyone else is doing okay. MBL is doing fantastic. The guy is also on the way to the Imperial Age. He has two castles, so he could easily build a third, and look at the resources you can take. I've never done this for my community games. I've never done this map. But now that I think about it, and now that I look at this, I feel like this is a really good map. Because the concern in community games sometimes is that the player who's most aggressive is putting tons of resources into trying to get kills. And then they eventually run out, and then the person who wasn't fighting the entire game will kill him because they saved resources. Well here, when you're being aggressive, you're gaining resources which I like. It's, it's, it's definitely difficult to start on this map, though, so it's not the most welcoming for lower-rated players, but maybe for my community games on Fridays, we will we'll work this in. I, I imagine one of my... Uh, one of my longtime regular viewers named Ian Brownstown is out there loving this right now. Um... As, as Teal's getting attacked, Teal really doesn't seem to be in the best position. He's losing castles on the left, and there's cavaliers on the right. I'll tell you a, a small story here. Uh, so basically, longtime viewer on Twitch named Ian Brownson, who I had the pleasure of meeting in person, uh, has always has always made this joke about Budapest um, and called it Booty Pest. Very mature, I know. Well, anyway, uh, the guy, like, as I said, was, has watched my channel for a long time, and there was an Age of Empires 2 meetup where I happened to meet him, and he gave me a picture of Budapest, only the word Booty Pest was photoshopped, well, not photoshopped, added on top of Budapest, and then he wrote me a nice little message, and the message had nothing to do with booties. Uh, it was like basically to thank me for everything that I've done to influence his life with creating content, and it was... Like, one of the sweetest things, honestly, that anyone's ever done for me. Um, like, it, it's so cool to hear the impact I'm able to have on people's lives. So, I always remember that. And, uh, despite, despite how much that meant to me, I haven't done a lot of booty pests. So, here you go, Ian. You got your shout-out and you got your booty pest. Uh, Racer's in trouble. Racer's in trouble. Odette is on the right-hand side. Odette's taking down castles with trebs. That TC's not far away. Uh, MBL is here with Orkin Guns, and these Orkin Guns are going to destroy the town center. I, I think it'll only take four volleys. That's three. I'm sorry, my math is off. But yeah, that, that was five total volleys, I guess. Um, and uh, Racer, he didn't account for MBL, I suppose. He, he focused on Odette. He probably regrets that now. He probably wishes he would have gone for MBL when MBL wasn't focused on what was going on. Now, MBL, he'll lose a few units, but he'll kill the Onagers, he'll kill the TC. And that will be the second person that our pro player will kill. Racer calls the GG. So, meanwhile, uh, we have Elite... Well, not Elite, sorry. Just Magyar Hussar rating from, from uh, Teal? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Orange has just resigned. Okay. Orange has just resigned. I guess he, he didn't feel like he had a good opportunity to come back. And I kind of agree with him because Redhead had been pushing on the left and Teal had been pushing on the right. 
but you know, that was actually solid defense from Teal because he had to defend from purple and then he also had to defend from orange because orange was trebbing him. So I think what happened was while MBO was killing people on the other side of this map, he used his Magyar Hussars to kill the trebs just to delay. Magyar Hussars, they have a bonus for siege. So when they get to elite in the Imperial Age, they are absolutely insane versus trebuchets or, or mackinels or any form of siege. That would even include organ guns, actually, if MBL makes his way over there. But it's just weird to me. At Teal, he has 110 population, and that puts him in third place on the score. Red has 135 population. That puts him at second place. So that's pretty crazy. The skill difference between all these players is pretty wild, if, if that's... If that's how the score lays out, you know? <clears throat> and <clears throat> MBL, there's no sign of stopping from him. No sign of stopping whatsoever. Going for the piano cannons. Making some not-so-sweet music at Odette's walls. Uh, Britons are actually a fantastic sieve to counter the piano cannons. If you go for elite longbows and talbadiers, it can be very nice. And, oh! Odette's attacking purple, so Odette is conflicted. She she feels like she needs to go back, but she would like to finish off purple, and I think Odette would do that as well if MBL does leave, because Longbowmen with Halberdiers with Trebuchets would do the job. The TCs are very close. Yeah, okay, Odette's not happy about this now. <laughs> Odette is not happy to see MBL here. This might leave purple alive for a little while, but purple just doesn't seem to have resources, doesn't seem to have anything. Purple is merely surviving. You know, this might be Red's opportunity to make a push, but as I say, that MBL has another group of the organ guns over here, so... Uh, I take that back. And Red says cheats. It feels like it when you play versus a player that's so much better than you, I'm sure. Because quite honestly, MBL hasn't been troubled at all. He has 140 kills, 33 deaths. Uh, he, he's losing units to the castle, and it is still his KD is fine. It doesn't really bother him. Two separate groups of armies. The guy to his right is dead. The guy to his left is dead. Uh, if there was a a meta game to sudden death, there's a meta game to these these styles. Um, or not these styles, sorry, these matches, then MBL would have the style for it. This would be perfect. But one thing to remember. People who play in community games, the lower-rated players, they cannot be underestimated. MBL's score is crazy. I'm sure he's confident. I'm sure he feels like this is just a matter of time for him. But he has to remember that all that his opponents need to do is kill his TCs. Now, has he stonewalled his TC? No, because he's MBL. He's one of the best players in the world. Has he built Bombard Towers around his TC? No. He's MBL. He's one of the best players in the world. Just keep that in mind. Odette has lost one of her two town centers, and she is doing a really good job at holding this. I mean, considering the circumstances, but... I mean, she was attacked by blue, she was trying to kill purple, then MBL came in, but she does not have the population to hold against MBL. And so this is making me think about Teal, this is making me think about Red. Red, it, Red has the resources, it doesn't seem like he really has the... Uh, it just doesn't seem like he has it all together right now. And MBL is pushing him, now, now Red has skirmishers against Bombard Cannons, so MBL's mixing in the Bombard Cannons. This is not gonna work. Uh, I think that it's actually really tough for Italians, if we're being honest. I think that they would need their own Bombard Cannons. They would need... Well, Condo Tierros would fare pretty well, because Condo Tierros are, are anti-gunpowder. He is trying to delay it now with some towers, but, but I think MBL will continue his push. Maybe this gives Odette some time to breathe, I don't know, but but you have Teal over here, and this guy... Wow, look at his resources! I was wondering why his score was so high. Well, he, sure, he's late to the Imperial Age, but my goodness, does he have an economy. 7,000 gold. This is kind of similar to what I said 
uh, could happen, where one player hasn't fought all that much and they're banking up resources. He's also not making any gold units. He's just making Elite Magger Hussar, which do not cost gold after their unique tech. I think the unique tech is maybe 200 food, 200 gold. It's not that expensive. NBL just crossed 300 kills. So he has three times the amount of kills as Teal. And there's no end in sight for that. Orking guns and bombard cannons are so expensive. It is so ridiculously expensive. But he doesn't care. He has the map control. He has the confidence. And he's making these things. And I love Portuguese bombard cannons. You don't see them often because they're so expensive. But with their unique tech, Portuguese, uh, their bombard cannons are affected by ballistics. Which means that you can't dodge them. They, they hit every time. Is like a heat seeking missile. I feel like all that Red is doing is delaying his death. And so this is where my point from earlier comes in. You're in Red's shoes. MBL's killing you from two different angles. You know he's one of the best players in the world. I think the strat here has to be sneak. Make some trebuchets and just hope for the best. Roll around this way. If he were to do that, he would he would actually be successful with it. Imagine if he would have used that golden wood he had to make trebuchets a while ago instead of these Genoese crossbow and skirmishers which are dying. Roll them around <clears throat> or make bombard cannons. Push them around. Technically, they, they're pushed. Walk on by, pull the just passing move, and kill MBL's TCs. He could do it, but he doesn't have the confidence, you know? He doesn't have the confidence, and so I think he's frozen, and, and he's, he's focused on just keeping himself alive. That's not the strategy that is going to, to get him to have any chance in this game. It's pre pretty much destining him to death. He has no chance if he continues to do this. Now, Teal is actually over at Purple's base. Remember, Purple tried to attack him earlier. And this could be the end of Purple. I don't think there's any cure to Epicuro's situation. Yeah, and I, I, he's calling the GG, and these elite Magyar Hussars, they killed the TCs pretty quickly. So Teal has been going with the hit-and-run tactic. He did so against Orange earlier, forcing Orange to resign. And now he just finished off purple. So purple's out of the game. That leaves us with MBL, Teal, Red, and Gray. There's four people left. And Red has already lost one TC. And, oops, I'm sorry. I don't know why my mouse does that. It's really weird. Um, he, he's probably going to lose this TC. No sneak as far as I can see. Just continuing the same old strategy choice, which has put him in this awful position. The thing is, I understand it, right? Red is a perfect example of what not to do, though. And I think in time, as these games happen more and more, uh, especially if I can get pros to join my community games, and those are normally pretty hyped for people, then people will learn, right? When I first started doing the community games a few years ago, uh, the, the sense of urgency and the sense of uh, creativity, I guess, that players had was not even close to what we have nowadays. I feel like the more times they see people try things, the more people will try it on their own. Um, so this is just another example. Cats, you played really well, man. You had the resources. Just don't try and fight head-to-head -head against MBL. Be sneaky. MBL probably feels like an absolute beast. Everyone he attacks dies. That's pretty much what has happened. Everyone he has attacked has died. Except for Odette, yeah. But that's simply because Red was the focus. And now we have three people. I don't have a lot of faith in Odette. Um, she has rebounded well. But I don't think her economy's there. And I think that MBL, since he's closer to her and has already tried to attack her... I think MBL is going to go for her next. So Odette needs to go for some, the same thing I said that Red should have done. You know, you don't you don't see what we see, but try and look. Delete some walls, kill some of Blue's buildings, and run around. 
MBL is is collecting resources everywhere he can find them. Sure, he can see everything, but would he react to a snipe? I'm not so sure. Okay, here comes Teal. Teal is here now. And we talked about this guy a few times with his hit and run strategies. Remember I said the elite Magyar Hussars are a counter to Siege? You don't see this often because normally players are going to have halberdiers in front of their organ guns. But the Magyar Hussars destroy the organ guns. Organ guns are incre incredibly costly. The bombard cannons are incredibly costly. The trebs are incredibly costly. And MBL dips down below 160 population for the first time in, well, a long, long time. And Teal has said a few times now, he says, Odette, where is MBL? Now, Odette actually has less scouting intel than Teal does, so Teal just needs to scout. Go for the just passing moment. And uh, MBL actually signals. <laughs> he actually signals Teal's base and says, here I am. So it's possible to at least defend if you're using these elite Magyar Hussars. Again, I think that MBL is filled with confidence. He is not going to make Halbs. I think he'll continue with the piano cannons. And Teal needs to scout. I, I like this from Teal. Now, he was fortunate that Purple was in a vulnerable position. But now you have an Odette looping around to attack him, so maybe he needs to go back to defend. Now, he is researching Onager and... Uh, Seems to me like Teal is aware that MBL is, is planning a push here. Uh, Odette is showing what the elite longbows can do versus York and guns, though, guys. This is pretty nuts. 11 range right now. Will be 12 range after the unique tech finishes. Uh, is she missing an upgrade? Oh, no, there it is. 12 range. Only 8 range for the York and guns. So she's doing a good job to dance and stay outside the, the range of the cannons. I think Teal can easily kill the trebuchets, though. He's repairing his castle. A few Magyar Hussars going over. And, yep, the trebs are going to die. So this is the point. And we're getting closer to where people are going to have to go for it. People are going to have to take some risks. And Teal, who's a 1,400 player, by the way, while MBL has hit 2k7 before, the 1,400 player... One of the lowest rated players in this game, actually. He's doing exactly what I said. He recognizes that even with 13,000 gold, he could possibly kill MBL if he goes for the, the TC snipe. So he's not going for an out and out battle. He, he doesn't care. He, he wants the TC snipe. And this is what I want to see. This is what I called for. This is the type of thing that should be rewarded, in my opinion. And he finds one TC. Okay, he finds one TC. Now, MBL is aware of this. MBL, he, he's pulling his organ guns back. Uh, the elite Magyar Hussars are strong versus organ guns, but they're not that strong versus buildings. This is going to hurt MBL, though. He, he's currently engaged in a battle versus Odette. So it's almost the perfect time for Teal as well. While Odette is still alive, this would be the moment to try and hit MBL. It's going to be difficult for Teal, though, in his position, because he has to run directly through all of MBL's castles and towers, and MBL will likely not be surprised by it. But that's what you need to do right there. That's what excites me. It's not really Odette's fault. I, I don't think she can try and surprise MBL since she's the focus. She could have tried so earlier, but she's been under a lot of pressure. She had to kill Purple, and she had to kill Blue. Based off the kills, she has been the second most active player in this game. I mean, she's she's actually been way more active than Teal has, uh, simply because of her neighbors. But Teal's playing the objective, right? He's playing the objective. And he has 80 Elite Magyar Hussars. Now, it does kind of bother me when players do this. Uh, now he has 15,000 gold, so I mean, Paladin would probably make sense here. Paladins are much stronger than the elite Magyar Hussars. Uh, you could at least mix the Magyar Hussars in with Paladins if you wanted that bonus for a Siege. It, that'd be fine. But you could go with the, the Cav Archers as well that Magyars have. Magyars have so many options. But the most important thing beyond the composition is, is the way he's playing the game. Oh,
Notice how every time you look at MBL, he's moving with units. Every time. Like others, you'll see units sitting there as they're they're massing or whatever they're doing, right? MBL's constantly in control. And he's constantly collecting gold. Now he got a little bit of a warning. He got a sign of what could possibly come in the near future when Teal ran into his base earlier. And what did he do? He just went back to farming around the TC. Did he stonewall it? No. Why? Well, because he's MBL. He doesn't need stonewalls. Well, now he sees Teal going for it again. So this guy is going to be a real pest. MBL's at 200 out of 200 population, so you'd actually need to lose units on the front to get reinforcements at home. And, uh... There's actually not a lot here from Odette. So... Odette won't kill much. Oh, wow! The gates from MBO! What a play, man! Okay, he has a few organ guns here. He's built some gates to give himself a little bit of time, and... While he's Bill Gatesing it, I think Odette is going to die. She's repairing MBL. Shoot it. MBL. <laughs> Did he think that he killed it? MBL? MBL? Earth to MBL? I'm, I'm fairly certain he thought he killed it. The town center went down to 50 HP or something. Oh, he's lost one of his TCs to this, guys. He's lost one of his TCs to Teal. The hit and run tactic is working. So MBL could go down here. It's going to be very, very close. Now he did research masonry, which is an important tech. Gives him a little bit more HP on his buildings. And I think he's just going to hold on. Meanwhile, he has to focus back on Odette. And Odette got here with a lot of military. I guess it wasn't available at the time. Maybe she was thinking about going to Teal. Uh, so, will MBL be able to finish off this TC? He's kind of falling apart here. Teal seems cool and calm. He says, are you nervous? And Adette's laughing because she's losing all her longbows and can't seem to micro them. And she's also out of resources, and that will be the end for her. And just to look back here, MBL has tons of organ guns now. And if Odette dies, it will be a 1v1 between the 1400 player and one of the best players in the world. So let's backtrack. MBL killed green. He killed red. He killed blue. He killed gray. He did not kill orange. He just simply didn't have an opportunity. He died quickly and he did not kill purple. So there's only two people that have died that he has not killed. And now there is Teal, who has shown that he, he knows that he needs to snipe. He needs to play the objective. But now MBL's focus will be on him. And while the elite Magyar Hussars are very strong in fights against the Orcan Guns, and they can kill a lot of them, MBL has endless gold. From all the people he's killed, he's going to have gold for the whole game. Even if this is a five-hour game. So, so yes. Teal's going to kill the Orcan Guns. But MBL can make enough of them to continue his push. And all MBL needs to do is kill these castles, which is a lot of castles. Kill these castles and kill the TCs. It's actually uh, nine castles for Teal, so certainly going to take MBL some time. But as we can see in that fight there, uh, MBL is still going to kill them. Should MBL make Halberdiers? Yes. Is MBL worried? Probably not. Should MBL be worried? Yes, he should be. But he's here. And uh, I, there's a lot of bombard cannons, so he could melt the castles. And he's even building more siege workshops. 72 military for MBL, 82 for Teal. And guys, I'd like to remind you again of what I've said multiple times during this cast. Teal has to play the objective. He cannot... He cannot win against MBL in one big fight. He has to play the objective. And I think he needs to be even sneakier now. I, I don't I don't think it's realistic for him to try and run in with the Elite Magger Hussar. Because MBL will see it the whole way in. There's no surprising him this time. So even if he gets there, MBL will probably have reinforcements. He needs to do something else. Now, 
Well, we'll have to see. I mean, it's a long journey for him to, to go through Red's base. Like, that would be difficult, but I think that's got to be the play, or maybe go along the north side. It'll take some time, and he will need to play like a boss to hold from dying in the meantime. But that's the only way I see him winning this game, and... I would still like to see some Cav Archers, man. Some range here would be sweet. To have the, the Magyar Hussars with the Cav Archers behind would be outstanding. He has 20,000 gold. But he's sticking with this, I suppose. Okay, did you hear that? This is what I'm talking about, people. This is why this is on YouTube. Transport ships. So imagine the journey. Imagine the journey. <laughs> Even if this fails, you have to commend the guy for having the balls to go for it. He would have to transport here, and then build more docks and transport around, and then loop the whole way around to hit MBL's TC. That is going to take a lifetime. But he's going to try it, and that's all I ever ask for. Just, just put in your best effort, my friends. Put in your best effort. And for a 1400 player, Teal's playing really good, actually. Um, it seems like he's pretty active with his army. The big thing that tells me how experienced someone is is how um, how quickly they're able to reproduce units. Because sometimes you just forget at lower levels. He has to be careful with where he sends his petards. Because yeah, he's he's going to <laughs> attempt to snipe Envy with petards. But, you know, other than that... Actually, can MBL see them? I'm not sure if MBL spotted them or not, but other than that, he's doing a good job. Okay, MBL has researched Fortified Wall. So, he's wised up a little bit. I think he's realized, alright, the only way Teal wins is if he goes for a crazy snipe. It's kind of weird how there's that random cow there. That guy's probably confused. But, but anyway, so... MBL's going to stonewall his one remaining TC. So we're talking TC count. Uh, it is oh oh MBL sees petards. So he he's got to know that Teal is is thinking about this night for sure. But uh, in terms of TC count, MBL has one and Teal does have two. So honestly, I feel like this is the wrong side to try this strat on. Teal has the right idea. Oh, maybe he doesn't realize there's water down here? Hold on, what's what's going on here? Did we just look at this area at the right time? Maybe he's thinking about it as we're thinking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he'll dock here instead. This makes a little bit more sense, because he just needs to take one trip and then walk around. And he already has scouting on this side. A, li a little bit of scouting. MBL continues his push. 1,111 kills. He has like 20 bombard cannons. The castles have 6,000 HP because they have all the HP upgrades. But it, it won't matter with this many bombard cannons. This is nuts. He hasn't created a single trash unit this game. It's been all gold units and the most expensive units that he could make. Ridiculous. Truly ridiculous, and he's fighting against a unit which is supposed to counter siege. Outstanding stuff. Teal is scouting with this transport, I suppose. Uh, is he doing anything with these? No, these guys are all just sitting here idle. So Teal, he has the right idea, but he's struggling now. And his town centers are very close to this, so he needs to pick it up. Like, his heart is probably beating like crazy. He's actually running low on food at the moment, and he's trying to sneak in with onagers, and MBL snipes him immediately. Every time he sees an onager, he kills it. So it's taking time for MBL, but he's getting there. He knows the TCs have to be beyond the castles. Every onager's getting sniped. What are you doing, Teal? You gotta pick it up, dude. You, you gotta pick it up. It has to happen soon. You're you're running out of gas. He's running out of food. It wouldn't surprise me if he starts buying food for the Elite Magyar Hussars. 
because he has the gold. He hasn't been using it anyway. I think he needs to make trebs. He needs to make ramps. He needs to make the tards. He needs to make everything he can. Let's look at MBL's Fog of War. MBL, he could see an awful lot here, so it'll be hard for him to be surprised. But I think the weakness that these pro players have is that they're not as aware. Um, or, like, their their mind is programmed to look for things that you would see in competitive play. Not necessarily any sneaky transports. Okay, that batard just killed that deer. That was unnecessary violence against wildlife. But I'm still rooting for you, Teal. He has a lot of petards here, guys. MBL has killed only one castle. It took a long time to kill that castle. Because he's a confident guy. Now, he is he is mixing in the spears now, so he's making a little bit of trash. Maybe he realizes this is taking way too long. This is the beautiful moment that we've all been waiting for. If MBL gets to Halvadir, to Orkin Guns, to Bombard Cannons, he wins. Easy. Like, it's so easy. No chance for Teal. If Teal doesn't try a sniping attempt, he's dead. But he's doing it. He's trying it. He's taking a risk. And he will drop off his petards here in a moment. It's almost hard for me to speak because this is so hype. One town center is here, one town center is here. MBL has uh, almost 20 Bombard Cannons. And 60 Piano Cannons. And the castles are melting. Now guys, look at MBL's point of view. So he's focused on the fight. Every castle is creating these Orkin Guns. There it is. There it is. What's MBL doing? He's focused fully on the engagement. He knows there's a TC here. He's killing everything. The pikeman switch is on the way. The castles are melting. I don't think Teal can hold it home much longer. But he has a dream, guys. He has a dream. <laughs> MBL... He has one layer of walls. That's it. There's this little teal dot in the minimap. But he's not paying attention to it. He doesn't feel like he has to pay attention to it. He's been dominating the entire game. 1,400 kills. 550 deaths. He sees a TC. Now, for all he knows, this might be the final TC. And now, I think he's about to... He has to realize this, surely. Oh, he sees it! He sees it! He's trying to wall, but you only need like six or seven petards to kill the town center. Look at this, MBL, every time a wall goes down, he places another one. He's dead. It's not enough, man. It's not enough. Teal yeah. took the risk. He took the risk and killed MBL. MBL had 198 population at the end of that game. He had so much gold. He was about to kill Teal, Teal's TC. I, I say that Teal maybe had another two minutes and then he was dead. Like The timing on that could not have been better. I, I think if he would have gone a bit earlier, MBL might have noticed it. But MBL figured, oh, he doesn't have the time. I'm going to kill him. So I don't know if that was planned or not from Teal. Uh, but my goodness. So take some risks, guys. And if you're a pro player out there, this is what you have to look out for in these community games. So I saw this clip uh, because I was watching MBL stream on Twitch. And uh, I said to myself that I was going to go get some, some videos done after MBL finished his game. Because, uh, you know, I watch videos and streams like everybody else. I'm addicted to this game. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I was only watching MBL's point of view and... From what I could tell, uh, MBL was going to win this game. I didn't see any of the earlier parts. I just saw the ending. Uh, but I, I kept feeling like this left area on the minimap could be MBL's weak spot. And 
just the fact that NBL wouldn't look for that would be his weak spot. And I saw it. I, I saw the teal on the mini map and I started getting really excited. And in the chat, all I said was OMG when, when I saw it. I, I didn't want to spoil it. I didn't want to ruin teal's moment. And teal got his kill. Uh, immediately after, because this was not played on a rated ladder or anything, I couldn't access a recorded game, said, hey, MBL, uh, can you send me this recorded game? And uh, he, he didn't want to send it to me. So <laughs> uh, Teal was happy to send it to me. Uh, so thank you very much for sending me the recorded game. Uh, YouTube is very thankful, I'm sure. So let's look to the achievements. And then uh, the end of this video is actually going to be MBL's reaction to the snipe. Uh, MBL is is trying to win these sudden death games, man, and he's he constantly keeps getting sniped and perhaps he's just not playing as as uh he's not playing as a regular person as much as he needs to. 1400 kills. I can't wait to look at the economy. Look at that. 54,000 gold. The guy had way more kills than everyone. He had 54,000 gold. All he made was organ guns and bombard cannons with the exception of the last few minutes where he made a few half upgraded pikes. Imagine how you would feel if you lost a game like that. <laughs> oh, I love MBL, man. And uh, guys, I'm going to leave you with his reaction here. Uh, so bear with me. Let me just bring this up and get everything sorted. Uh, I figured so we could get this to YouTube as quick as possible. I would just play the clip from his stream. Uh, if you want to check out his stream, it is twitch.tv slash mblaoc, and I'll put that in the description. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the video, guys, for what was a fantastic game, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, we have a lot of army. No! No! This was not supposed to happen! No, my God. <laughs> Not again. Damn it! This was the only thing that could break me.